welcome back. Episode 6 in Corby in Finland. Uh, okay, so I just got back from the store. And I bought this. I was so impressed with the other mower, um, clearing out all the brush that was out there. Uh, we created some nice silage bales. They sh might be ready today. It is now January. And, um, as you can see in my heads up display in the top right corner, uh, I got a new mod, uh, that I picked up and it gives a little bit more information, shows the year, shows the temperature, uh, temperature range, uh, for today. Uh, it just gives a little bit more info, nothing serious. Uh, I kind of like it though, kind of nice. Uh, forget the name of it though. No, oh, I'll have to check that. Maybe I'll add it in the, in the, uh, in the description. Uh, so yeah, this RDMR 300, uh, it's a lizard product. It is a mower and I want, I, okay. So let me, let me step back a second here. Let's just turn this off. So I mentioned that, uh, in the last episode that I would start clearing this and, uh, as the day uh, went on, I kept looking at it going, ugh, I can't see anything. I'm going to drop trees. It's going to be a pain. Um, so I wanted to try to mow through this before I start working on the trees, but I, I couldn't, you know, I really didn't want to lease or buy that big wing, uh, John Deere thing, uh, because it's going to be tight in here. So I had a look around and I saw this and the price was fantastic. It was 2,100 bucks. It's a small mower, but it will clear brush. So we're going to give that a uh, try today. And I hope that I can clear the brush underneath so I can see what I'm doing. Because it's, it's really dense in there. So let's give that a spin. It's still dark. It's uh, 11 a.m. Uh, I can't wait for the long summer months. All right, let's see what this thing does. We'll just try to go through here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I think it's going to be fantastic. There's a bit of grass in here. It's going to leave some grass on the ground. That's okay. We'll figure that out later. Let's drive right through here. Let's have a look. Look at that. Amazing. Yeah, there's a bit of grass on the ground. That's fine, though. That's not a problem. So, more than anything else, I think I'm going to be driving around a lot uh, to try to clear some of this up. Yeah, it's still a bit of a chore to see, but... Maybe if I go from here, I'm going to assume that everything I drive over is going to get munched up. I don't really know where I'm going here, but let's turn around. Oh, water is right there. I got to be careful. I guess we could start by the water. Mind you, you know what? I don't really want to cut the... I want to keep the edge of the water nice and clean, so I think what I'll do is I'll just keep going like this. Oops, try not to get stuck on trees. If I can clear out this brush, it'll make take it down these. Oh boy, I keep getting stuck. I guess it's a little bit wider than the tractor. Yeah, and this will make processing trees a lot better. A lot more fun. Well, fun. It's all work, you know, but... I still can't see where I'm going, though. Love it. I love it. So let's clear out this area here. 
may not cut many of these trees. But I would like to get all the bush out of here. Oh. So, we have to. We'll replant some grass. Oh, try not to run into trees, though. It's still tight in here. Uh, I'm stuck, I think. Go this way, I guess. That's a lot better. Way better. Let's clear up some of the stuff by the house here. Alright, this makes me happy. I just drive everywhere. Everywhere I see a bush, I'm going. Not quite sure I'm going to pick up that grass, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I can get wind rowers back here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to chip away at this for a few minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, so we did some clearing in here. Still a lot to do, but look at this. I can see where I'm going mostly. This is beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Well worth the money. Okay, so let's go see. What's going on with our bales? See where they're at. These are at 94. So I think what we're going to do, well, we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, I just realized that this spawn point here only holds two pallets. So there's actually more stuff ready than, than we can see. Uh, so I need to do something with those, get that out of the way. I am going to get our skid steer with new pallet forks and I'm going to move stuff around a bit. Oops, those are not connected. There we go. All right. See how our new bridge does? Love it. Love it. You know, you guys have watched some of my series. You'll know that I have bad episodes and I have good episodes. This one's turning out to be a good one so far. But hopefully I don't jinx it. Okay, maybe we can pick that up. Oops, a little bit lower. Should see something spawn there. I'm just gonna put this here for now. We'll get a second one on there. There we go. about skid steers is they they skid I think we're gonna stack that up here whoa 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 slow down I better, I better do it this way. There we go. I think I'm okay now. And we'll pick up the one on the bottom. I don't turn by accident. There we go. What are the chances there's actual straps on here? No, there's no straps. I didn't think so. <laughs> I 
Okay. We're going to put everything over here. It's going to be a while before it's a good time to sell this, so I'm just going to stack it up near the house. Keep it away from the bears. Uh, let's put it here for now, I guess. We don't have sheds or anything. We still got a lot of work to do. We should be getting more. I think there's going to be a furniture pallet that's going to spawn. Could be wrong, though. Could be ambitious. Yep, I was right. A bit of Ikea. No, Ikea is Swedish. There's another Ikea-ish place. I think that was out of Finland. I forget the name of it. Didn't stick around. Well, here in Canada, it didn't stick around very long. Oh, wow. Even more. Hey, I've been doing a lot of work. So I had a look, and the peak pricing uh, time for this stuff is in um, in July, which is a long ways off. But I plan to use some of these planks for some more projects. So I don't know if I'm going to sell the planks. I'll sell the furniture for sure. Come on. There we go. Move that a bit. There we go. Whoa! You can just harpoon a deer. I'm so bad at this. There we go. Will another one spawn? I'll wait to see if another one spawns yet. more there is. I knew there was a couple more, but this is more than I expected. We're going to have some good projects to do. There's still a little bit of a bump there, but it's not too bad. Much better than before. Okay, let me get the rest of these. I honestly don't know how many there are, but kind of looking now like there's quite a bit. I would prefer to have my sum a little closer to the house. That sun come up. Okay, anything else coming up? I think that might be it. Ah, spoke too soon. Wow. Okay. I was not prepared for that. Oh boy, that's sketchy. Alright, I'm going to use a new strategy. Oh. 
Might not be a good strategy. Uh-oh. Let's try something else here. I'm just going to try to dub these for now. Using the shoving technique. Not sure if there's any more, but that might be it. But then I might have spoken too soon again. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just going to leave that there. We'll sort it out later. And there's probably a lot more. I've got more stuff I need to get done. There we go. Now, I'm going to put this guy... I can certainly do a lot more. But I'm going to put this away as well. We'll get more of that done later. Right now, what I want to do is I want to lease a bale uh, collector and start picking up those bales. They, it's prime time to sell them. Um, if we look at, let's have a look real quick. If we look at silage, it's 564 right now at bale sale, and we are pretty much at peak. Um, that's about as good as it gets. So these are almost ready. Um, we'll probably have to rest a little bit to get them ready. But I would like to start selling those. Um, they in increase our cash position because we got some projects I want to do. I need money to do them. All right, I'll see you back at the store. Okay, we're here. Let's turn that off. Lights off. Let's go see if we can lease a bale picker upper. That's what I'm calling it. That's a technical term. Bale loaders. Um, I want one that does round bales, 125. I could have done 180, but um, I'll do 125. That's, uh, I need 130 horsepower for that, but I think that's going to work. I don't want a real, like, auto loader, auto loader. Um, I want a picker upper. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's really kind of the only option right now. Okay, so let's lease that. That's 2,500. So we spent about, I want to say about eight to nine thousand in uh, leasing, um, so that we can get those bales made and sorted out. So, back up. There we go. All right. Hopefully, there's no problem pulling uphill. The good news is for selling, it's only downhill. Well, that's not a problem. I think we might consider getting that engine upgrade on this. I think it would help a lot. I do like, like this tractor. It's really nice. It's a good size, I think. I uh, just could use a little bit more horsepower. We've got some snow in the forecast. I'm not quite sure what that's going to mean. I might not be able to see my bales if it snows too much. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it is struggling a little bit. That's all right. All right, let's see how this works. Operating position. Start with this guy. I can pick up 24, um, and we have 30 bales, so it's going to be two trips. Now I should probably move up the clock a bit. Uh, let's have a look at this again. 
That's 95%, so actually, why don't we just do this? Ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. There we go. That should be they should all be ready in theory. Some might be still ninety-nine or so, but by the time we get them all picked up. We should be good. That one in the corner over there is gonna be a little tricky to pick up, I think, with this big of course, I left something right in the way. Oh boy. I want to go in the water. Okay, let's go around this way. A little bumpy, but I think we can do it. That's nine bales so far. This thing picks up pretty nicely. Come on. And one more. There we go. That's our 24. Then we'll put that in transport mode. Let's go see what we get for this. I have a feeling that's going to be some pretty seriously good money. <laughs> yeah, this is not a problem for uh, uh, horsepower issues. Just coming up the hill is a bit, a bit tough. Uh, maybe stopping. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. I think this unloads like well, they are selling. Okay. All right. Let's head back and pick up the next batch. Oh, here comes the snow. It's a light snow so far. Hopefully it won't get too bad. How are you guys doing today? Oh okay, yeah, we'll grab a few more. It's a nice cash injection. I actually thought we would get more though. I don't know why I thought that, but I'll be closer to a hundred once we've sold them all. And there we go. I think that's all of them. And another 11,000. That puts us, oops. All right, that's another 11,000. That's where it puts us to 76,000. So the big question now is what do I want to do with that money? Let's return this. There we go. Return. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, um, here's a few ideas of what I want to do with some of this money. I could keep saving it. Um, but one of the things I could do is upgrade this tractor engine. Although, to be honest, none of that really seemed to be a big problem with the exception of uh, hauling that 
trailer with the uh, with the skid steer up the hill where I really struggled. Aside from that, we got it done. Um, maybe not as quickly, but it got done. The other option is we could expand our far our you know land already. Uh, let's have a look at that for a second. So here we are. We currently own this block here, uh, giving us some you know open space here, meadow here, meadow there. We haven't touched this yet, um, and we've got a lot of trees to take down in here. This is, will be our base, you know, kind of base of operations. Um, so uh, one of the things we could do is I would like to buy this piece of land next. This gives us the ability to create our pass right through, uh, put in a road that comes right down through here, give us more meadow to work with, and um, you know perhaps some more wood uh, if we really want to. Um, so that's an option right there. Um, the other option is we could go up here and buy this piece, and this is a lot of lumber up here, as well as here. So that's one direction we could take. The other direction is I would like to set up a uh, farm, uh, some farm animals, and I kind of decided I want to go with sheep again. Um, I tend to like sheep. I guess they're easy to take care of compared to some other animals. So I got to think about that for a bit. Primary goal for the next couple of months, I guess, will be to uh, keep feeding, um, keep feeding our sawmill. So it'll be to keep feeding our sawmill uh, with with wood, and uh, we've got the wood to do it. We just got to get to work. But that said, uh, I may want to upgrade that that sawmill sooner than later. So I have to clear space to do it. And in clearing, instead of feeding uh, that sawmill, maybe I'll just put all the wood aside, clear an area, build a new, new sawmill, bigger, more, more flexible sawmill, and take it from there. So, yeah, I think that's yeah a lot of things to think about. So, if we were to clear an area in here. Uh, we could definitely build a nice big sawmill in here. That'd be a lot of work. I'll, I'll do a lot of that off camera. I'll, I'll take a lot of these trees down. And um, perhaps next episode we will be ready to do that. So... I want to say, guys, what should I do? Put your comments in the... Uh, put your you know ideas in the comments section but truth is I will probably uh, do something before the, <laughs> this episode uh, publishes um, I do run a little bit ahead of, ahead of schedule um, so I'm out uh, at least a week now uh, if not two in, in some of the series and um, so asking for feedback on what to do next in the next episode might not work. <laughs> so I'm just being honest, being open about it. Um, so I'm going to continue clearing through here. I'll do that uh, off camera. I will take down a significant amount of trees. I think I will save the wood. I'll stack it up somewhere um, and keep stacking for our, you know, our, um, our planks here. I still can't pick those up. Um, should have more by next episode. And then eventually we're going to have to load them into here and take them and, and sell some. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to sell them yet. I will sell the furniture for sure. Absolutely, that's going to be sold. But only in, you know, July or so. All right, guys. That will be it for this episode. A little shorter than the last one, I think. But uh, nonetheless, um, I've got some work to do. Uh, a lot of work to do in here. And I'll just keep the progress going. Thank you for watching. 
um, this series. I hope you're really enjoying it. Uh, it's a very different map than anything I've played on before, so I'm, I'm still very exciting on which directions we can take this in. Uh, but, you know, if you are enjoying this, please consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day.